Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. When we last left off, we had done a little favor for our buddy Fat Larry over there. We got a little bit of gear uh, and a new weapon, which is uh, cool. But now I think we're going to pop over to the, uh, the club here. Just curious if there's anything down this alley. <laughs> there's a dude getting blowed. That's what's down that alley. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked, <laughs> but I'm still going to check this one. <laughs> um... But, uh, yeah, there's nothing in there. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're gonna pop into this club here. It's actually what, probably the coolest club in the game, I would say. Uh, thematically speaking, you see it's like, like a church here. So, uh, yeah, but, uh, Fat Larry told us about a one Venus Dare friend of his, uh, and she needs a little bit of help with something. So. More, uh, more posters, of course. Of possibly, probably real bands, so it's been confirmed that some of them are real. How the fuck do you, do you just like wanna I wish to I wish to enter, please? <laughs> well, I guess I gotta keep moving while I'm in here, because it'll just stop. Okay. Also, we have a uh, minor quest to deal with this person. However, I've been given some advice, um, which is. Uh, Santa Monica related, so I'm not gonna talk to her just yet, because I'm not sure exactly what order I need to do things in. However, uh, we will talk to Venus, who is over there, I think, and then here I think we have another lady that we can seduce. Um... I just wanted to see if your voice was as angelic as you. Oh, it is. You are. I've never seen you in here before. Uh... Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I just got out of jail, baby, for stealing the ladies' hearts. I stopped dating guys who live in their parents' basement back in high school. Oh loser. Oh, we we have failed, I'm afraid. We need a little bit more seduction for uh for uh, that lady. <laughs> Good times, alright. So this is the club though. Very uh very cool looking place. I like it a lot. I wish it was a real place, because it would be just a spectacle, frankly. But, uh, let's have a chat with, with her. Actually, hang on. Who's, what's going on here? Some kind of, like, cigarette or something like that, uh, coaster? I'm with Everybody somebody. comes in here's got to have a short house rules. Inhibition's the first thing to go. Two more of these, and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beat priestess, and it's time to confess. What an intro. <laughs> and who am I about to have the pleasure of speaking to? Venus was her name, handsome. Got anything you want to confess, love? Um, hmm. Let's see. Too much. <laughs> Nothing I can talk about, though. Uh, no matter how many times I hear that line, it never gets any more believable. So what's your thing, hmm? Stealing from work, sex in graveyards, watching the neighbor's daughter with the lights off? <laughs> Uh, oh man, kicking ass taking names. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? Uh, I am intrigued since the minute you started moving your lips, girl. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, bit thick. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. Oh, well, that's it, huh? That's it. <laughs> uh huh. All right. I'll. I'll. Uh, hmm. Well. Hmm, hmm. What's in it for me, though? For real. Drinks on the house for a week. I prefer cash. You want cash? Whatever. I can do that. Question is, are you worth it? Uh, yeah. I'll do it. Hmm. I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel. Tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind. Just don't go starting any street fights, all right? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat priesters. Later, darling. All right. Well, <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Oh boy, what a place. She's still displeased with our actions. All right, let's get out of here. Maybe we'll have a chance to seduce her later if we uh, end up increasing our seduction some more. I'm not sure if we will or not. 
But uh, it might be worth it just for some of the lines that we can get, like those wonderful ones we said to Venus there. <laughs> but some of the fail, fail <laughs> lines are honestly, like, pretty good too, so... <laughs> um, let's see, I think the, uh, the hotel is gonna be this way? Maybe? I think? Yeah, I think she said Empire Arms Hotel, right? Actually, no, but not in the hotel. Not, uh, yeah, not here. Uh, in the parking lot nearby. Well, this is a, it's a nice place. Let's get out of here, though. Uh, yeah, I think she said uh, we want to go around the corner here a little bit. And uh, chat with some gentlemen out uh, in this direction. Okay, what do we got here? Are you, you my guy? No, you're not the guy. Those look like they're probably the guys. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's see what they've got to say. Good fish and beach send you. That she did. Money. Where is money? Uh, she told me she doesn't have the money. No money? <laughs> Let's see, we could start a fight with these guys, but who needs to do that? You have already received the money. Tell bitch we be back next month. Okie dokie. Bye-bye. <laughs> These guys are, frankly, just a little bit crass. Alright, so I guess we just go back to the club and uh, everything is going to be fine. This whole situation was completely <laughs> overblown. So let's come over here. Like so. And uh, fucking go through this nightmare <laughs> again, I guess. And what's up? What? Passed on your message. I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Okie dokie. I'm with somebody. I feel like that scene is just there to look at her ass because she could hear us fine before. <laughs> that or, you know, this is a matter that demands a little bit of discretion, which is probably more likely the case. Well, you certainly did better than my bouncer did. Poor dear can't turn his neck to the right anymore. <laughs> Already had a call from Boris. Wasn't too happy about tonight, son of a bitch. Say, how would you like to get into the club business? Hmm? She's a fast talker. Um, I'm listening. Well, to start this club, I have to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris. And every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. Aha. Uh -huh. It sounds like that was a poor decision on your part. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to... Fuck that fat misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. Ah. <laughs> that, uh, that, uh, changes the tone of this conversation a little bit. Uh, what's the catch? Boris is high up in the Russian Mafia. Does that make a difference? Um, let's see... Well, I didn't think it was going to be easy, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, frankly, no, it doesn't make a difference. He's at the Empire Hotel, always has a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to outsneer each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, key to the penthouse level. All right, good enough. Uh, when I get back, we will... Uh... <laughs> get rid of that annoying turnstile. <laughs> uh, but no, when, when I get back, uh, we'll talk about the club. Okay, that's fine. Is there anything in here, or is it just like... Just some candles, I guess. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, and this is... Uh, we could have come up here earlier, I think, and yeah, they got go-go dancers in the, the cages up above. Kind of a grim version of a go-go dancer, I guess, but... Uh, I guess not really a ton of go-go with those moves, per se, but whatever. <laughs> that's just being a little bit pedantic. Um, let's, uh, let's see, can we just jump down? Yeah, let's get out of here. I guess we could have gone up there and then down here somewhere. Ooh, we can actually play with our computer. Oh, I see, this probably just leads. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go and do her little mission here, but first... Um, let's talk about email. Because we respect no one's privacy. Slave, okay. Tonight. From a one Larry. Ah, I thought uh, we might get together tonight if it pleases you, mistress. A little bit of uh, insight into uh, why Larry pointed us in Venus's direction to begin with, I guess. Uh, 
Very interesting. But uh, there's nothing else for us to do with that. There's a wallet here. Should we take the wallet? I'm gonna do it. 50 bucks, I'll take it. Now then, let's uh, move on, shall we? So, uh, I think she, I wasn't even really in, entirely paying attention. <laughs> I guess I tuned out when I was talking to her. Uh, wh where is uh, this guy? He was, he's in the Empire Hotel, right? Leave for any more penthouse level of the Empire Arms Hotel. Okay, yeah. So, we will um, go and just have a quick chat with Boris, and I'm sure he's going to be completely understanding and reasonable about the entire situation. So, we have really nothing to fear. All right. We can explore this hotel a little bit. I think there's more here than just Boris. Uh, what's up? Yes? May I help you? Mm, never mind, I guess. Uh, it doesn't look like we can open that door back there. Can we play with that computer, I wonder? No. There's, you're not fooling anybody, man. This computer isn't even on. And I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see her here. Okay. Okay, this is where it gets interesting, perhaps. Sweets. Wealth. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, the Albany Suite. Always places in New York. It's available. Um, the Queen's Suite. One Anders Johansson. Booked until on notice. Uh, the Manhattan Suite. All right. That's available. We have the Ithaca Suite. Um, by... Booked by one Ashley Jones, the Brooklyn Suite, which is booked by Jezebel Locke and Buffalo Suite. By Boris, booked by Boris Chekhov until the end of time. Guest logs. Let's take a look at this, just real quick. See uh, if we can find out anything cool. Power. Hmm. Uh, Chekhov B. That's our guy. Pay-per-view Planet La Femme, ten dollars. Steak and Lobster, eighty dollars. Okay, Johans Johansen, comma A. Nothing interesting about him. Jones A. Um, some champagne and Lock J. Nothing interesting about her either on this computer. So I think that's about it. Now I think around here there's actually like some secret shit we can do if we were. For example, a Nosferatu. We may, uh, uh, there was probably like an alternate entrance to get in here and all that good stuff, so. What are you looking at? This room's okay. It's kind of a nice, uh, a nice bar, though. I mean, as far as hotel bars go, anyway. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really been to a lot of hotel bars, but it seems all right. Um, let's see here. Just kind of checking out this bottom floor. Is anybody around? Nope. Okay, good. Let's close that door. Just to be safe. Last time we were in a kitchen, someone was slanging pots and shit. And uh, was not appreciated. Can't even open that. Just looking to see if there's anything. I don't like anything to pick up. but Or some notes or something. But it doesn't look like it. Ah, there we go. There's our secret path. We uh, will not be taking said secret path. Men's room. Okay, just want to make sure we got the right one. Anybody home? Because it would be funny if there was. What about here? Uh, you shouldn't be doing this. Tisk tisk. But considering we're about to go probably commit murder, eh, kind of like going into the ladies' room is pretty low on the, the list of sins. We can go confess to Venus later if we need to. <laughs> um, I guess we can check down here as well. Not really sure. Okay, we got like the conference room, I guess. Oh yeah, this is this is one of the other songs I replaced. I think this is the one that I thought was gonna play down by the beach, maybe, but it wasn't working out. I mean, look at our purple jacket. It's pretty. It's pretty good. I bet it's suede. Anyway, there is enough of that. Got dude, bro, chilling. Not really a lot going on in here. Actually, I wonder, can we go in any of these rooms? Thought maybe we could, but I uh, might be thinking of a different place. Now then, let's jump 50 feet in the air to 
Okay, we'll just jump on that guy's head. That's fine. <laughs> I was going to say to get past somebody, but... Okay, so this is actually locked. Will anybody notice me if I fuck with this? That's right. Nothing interesting to see here. Now, what is in here? Ah, okay, this is like backstage, I guess. But I don't see anything of particular note, although... These things do move. And the physics are really freaking out a little bit here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess that could happen. But uh, I don't see anything in here, really. So I guess we'll just head on upstairs to um, the penthouse level. Check on our buddy Boris. I think. There we go. Um, let's see here. These buttons are a little janky, as I recall. But I, th I guess I, well... You, you would think there would be, like, a pH for penthouse, but I guess we'll go to level 6 and hope for the best here. Alright. I think we had better, uh, save the game. Sounds like somebody's listening to the news, at least according to these subtitles. Now, we do have this key from Venus, so that's good. These are locked, and we are not going to be able to open those. So I guess we kind of have to go this way. Oh, oh, I see. Um, no, we could probably go, yeah. I see how that works. So it doesn't really, I'm not sure it matters which way we go here. We actually can't even get in there. And we would have to, uh, pick this lock. Oof, yeah, we're not going that way. <laughs> not anytime soon, not even with blood buff. So, I think instead we'll go this way. Much easier. Now, I guess this is, if I had to guess, this is where we would come out in one of the vents. Um, man, below seven. Can we do a seven? What's our security look like? Oh, geez, it's brutally low. Actually, we could, though. Uh, we could do one point of security like that. Blood buff, and then actually get in here. Um... Yeah, there's a vent right there I guess we could use to crawl around. Doesn't look like there's much of anything else. Um, yeah, just some boxes, and the door to that vent, I guess, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that, uh, hmm, room one, there's a TV, I guess, another maintenance closet, with another vent, maybe that would, uh, Go, oh, yeah, I don't know. There's, I don't know. There's just vents everywhere, man. Oh. You saw nothing. <laughs> um, okay, no, actually, we want to go this way, though. I don't know if this guy doesn't seem to actually give a shit, so that's cool, man. That's cool. I'm going to save here. There's the ballroom. A bunch of guys in there. Um, this is the, the, Way that we couldn't really go, I think. But now we can. Laundry. Uh, employees only, etc., etc. Okay. So now this is this way is open, which is good. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go this way. I think this is probably where we want to be. We got room two. I'm not gonna go in there just yet. Room three. Here we go. I think this is probably where we want to be. What is up, my friend? Who the hell are you? Oh, boy. Let me in. You know, he's not that fat. Um, Venus sent me to discuss something with you. Is that right? Oh, boy. Um, we probably don't have the domination or uh, persuasion for this conversation, but uh, <laughs> uh, it's a sensitive proposition I have. Perhaps your guard should step outside. You want Dima to leave? Why would I allow that? Uh, because this could get embarrassing for you. I'm just looking out for you, man. Okay, okay. Iti takda, Dima. Very well. Happy. Now spit it out. 
Oh boy, Venus wants the debt wiped, and she wants her, or wants you rather, out of her life. She does not sound American, but I guess it's possible she could have been born to British parents who emigrated. Um, hmm. How do we want to handle this? Are we spoiling for a fight? A little bit. And she did want us to basically murder him. That was the deal. <laughs> um, but uh, she believes she has more than paid for it. So, what? You are her messenger boy? You do work for stupid little girl? You are not man. You make it real easy to hate you, dude. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, what about your guards? I was man enough to get past him. I just fucking walked down the hallway. Oh, boy. I don't really give a shit what you think, though, buddy. You will get nothing from me. Go tell that bitch she can pack up Little Club. Her name is coming off it. Get the hell out of here. Pashli, go. Uh, maybe you misheard me. Huh? Hey, hold See, you have that sweet gun, but at the same time, I have this samurai sword, and it's pretty good. Also, you've died via vomit. We got, a, we got a new gun there. We got a Glock. We got a money clip. I'm sure everybody outside is not going to be worried about this. Hang on. I'm looting the room! How dare you? Now, this is actually a little bit of a dangerous uh, location. Also, I gotta say, it's a good thing that our clothes regenerate because, um, we getting shot up, yo. <laughs> Just a little bit of murder. I'm sure, uh, the hotel management isn't gonna be concerned about this at all. Oh, good. oh stop shooting me. There we go, a little blood strike. Actually does quite a bit of damage. Stop. What are you, what are you doing, man? There we go. Oh, he's bugging out a little bit there. It's good to be a vampire, dude. Just drink some blood, regen. You know, when you get shot with an Uzi about a thousand times, it's completely fine. Oh, gotta watch out for uh, for this guy with a knife, though. Stop right there. Stop right there. You don't sound Russian at all, dude. Okay, good talk. Um, somewhere around here, I think there's actually like a book, maybe. Might be a plus patch thing. Cannot quite recall. Um, hmm. This is just a bathroom by the looks of it. There's this vent, which I guess we could could have used to get just straight into that room. I guess that that's interesting. Ow. Please stop. I'm trying to bite him, dude. Oh, just taking it right in the fucking face. Brutal. All right, so he's also dead. Getting some ammo, all that good stuff. There's a lot of guys in here, at least there were. Yeah, okay, so not anymore, thank God. Uh, that's a that's a pretty tough room, even with uh, our Blood Purge AoE. Uh, this is just that knife. We've already been in there. So I guess we want to just go and check out these other rooms real quick. And uh, go from there. So we've got laundry. We don't really care about that. This has actually been locked. Um, so we have to kind of fight our way back through here, I suppose. Well, that's fine. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Get up. <laughs> you just punched me. You should have stuck with your gun, man. I think it would have been better for you. Oh, man. All right. Let's do, uh... There we go. I don't think we're getting that blood back. Probably hit the wall. We will watch this news later, someday. Never mind, the TV is invincible. Aha! ABC always be closing, baby! Um, aside from that, I'm not sure if we actually have the scholarship to read that book. Uh, we'll take a look at it in a second here, but I think that's pretty much it out here. So the maintenance again, we don't care about that. Yeah, I think we're done here. We'll be coming back to the Empire Hotel to do some more exploration on other floors uh, a little bit later. But uh, for now, we're just going to finish up and go talk to Venus, I think. Never <laughs> never mind the gunfire that you guys probably heard uh, over there. It's, uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, uh, yes? May I help you? 
Oh, I was hoping <laughs> I was gonna hoping I could go tell him to clean up uh, floor six, but I guess I'll just have to find it the hard way. Uh, yeah, but let's uh, let's see if we can use this book here. Um, we've got this. The game of life, your reading skills are E.T. for the 2600. We need at least six research to use this uh, this item. Uh, when we do, we will see what it does. When we have that, and we, we've we not um, increased our ability uh, to do research, particularly scholarship for a uh, optimization reason, basically. We will... I'm gonna fucking kill every single person in this doorway. Um, yeah, we, uh, we'll, we'll get to it, though, in time. I swear to fucking God, if you don't move your ass, you will die. You will die. You will do Okay. Nope. Move your ass, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get the old samurai sword out. We'll go hide in the sewers later. <laughs> For now, we're just gonna talk to Venus. Uh. Okay. How you doing, darling? And there you are. Finished yet? I am indeed. What? Ugh. Yeah, I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Okay. Uh, the conversation option didn't change there. I thought it froze for a second or something, or bugged out. There we go. Boris. Dead. Is that Boris's blood? Guess we're partners then. If you only knew what I had to do over the years to keep this place open. Tell you what, partner. Come in every few days and I'll give you your cut. Here's tonight. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? Alrighty. Uh, suggestions for the club? I think it's probably not a good idea. You'll see me again and often, don't you worry. All right, well, we've uh, managed to get some money, and uh, it's actually recurring money, which is good, which is one of the reasons why haggle is not super duper important in this game. Um, but uh, yeah, when we come back, I don't know what we're gonna do. We might um, follow up on that plague bearer, I guess. That's kind of kind of our next logical step, but there's also the boat that the prince mentioned that we kind of ignored. Uh, so we'll see, but until next time, my name is Ben Rojo, and thanks for watching.